sort of a high level overview, kind of some of the history of how we came to be as a company. Um, for those of you that have existing asterisk and free switch installations, this might sound familiar. Um, in the beginning, you have a desire to start a VoIP business. So you set up asterisk, you set up free switch, free PBX, whatever. Um, you get a client, maybe it's your uncle, you know, whoever, and you're like, this is easy. So you start selling things, and suddenly your server goes down. All right, so we can put an SBC in front, open SIPs, Camellio, uh, and now we have multiple servers. Okay, we're, we still feel like a VoIP company. But now we need to automate more, right? It's becoming too manual. Um, so now we have a database to share configs because we don't want to just rsync things around, even though we worked with companies that thought that was a viable solution. Um, you want to have a web portal for your customers, so now you have to write some PHP, Perl, uh, I guess today it would be Ruby, I don't know. Um, and now you're going to start off offering ways to customize customer dial plans, things like that. So okay, you're, you're kind of on the borderline, you're kind of a VoIP, kind of now a web dev company, you've got some DB administration that you need to learn. Okay, so what do we have? We kind of have this hodgepodge of things that we've put together. Maybe you studied computer science, maybe you're decent at computers and just kind of put things together by copying and pasting code from Stack Overflow, who knows? Um, point is you didn't have sort of this holistic view of what you wanted your service to be as you grew. But you're still selling and then of course a hurricane comes and knocks out the eastern seaboard. Amazon's down, oh no. Uh, so what do we do? Well of course now we need geographic redundancy and so now you have to duplicate everything you did in one data center to two data centers. As you can see, you're becoming less and less of a VoIP company, more and more networking, infrastructure, ops, web development, right? You're getting away from your core focus of selling voice. So you get to that breaking point, as some of you might be. What are we gonna do? Option one, keep going, right? We'll just keep plugging away, patching. Maybe we'll get lucky and hire somebody that's really knowledgeable that can come in and clean things up. Um, do best practices, things like that. Maybe we won't. All right. We can sw we can swap all of our homemade stuff out for a commercial solution. Uh, it gives us somebody to call when things go wrong. Um, but now you're just another X seller, right? How do you differentiate yourself? Uh, you could rent somebody's platform. Um, so now you don't even have the infrastructure to maintain. Well, that's nice. Uh, but again, now you're still just a seller of X. Uh, how do you differentiate yourself? So that's where we think Kazoo comes in. Because it kind of gives you a couple different options. Everybody has the same problems when it comes to connecting phone calls, when it comes to doing transfers, voicemail, conferencing, right? There's nothing particularly unique about those problems anymore. So why should you have to resolve those problems, right? Let's have this common core of functionality that we call Kazoo that everybody has to deal with, right? And then build on top of that your value add. How do you differentiate your company? Do you offer you know, Zappos level customer service? Do you create the greatest user interface known to man for creating custom call flows, right? Do you add you know, fax to email? Do you add email to fax? Do you integrate with Salesforce? Do you integrate with Google and all of their services, right? These are things that can help you differentiate yourself while still building on a common core of functionality.